Hey, welcome to Feral Art, or welcome back to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. Today, I have a 20 by 24 inch level 2 artist loft canvas. And I decided that I wanted it to be black. So, I painted it with black gesso. Yay. Um, I have for colors a whole mixture of stuff. I have, um, let's see. I have a mixture of Amsterdam a pearl blue and pearl green in hopes that I'll get sort of a pearl turquoise. I have a mixture of Amsterdam pearl red and pearl violet hoping to get sort of a, a red violet color. <coughs> Here's these two. You can't tell them apart, so I'm labeled them on the top. I have this mixture of Lucas Indigo, Liquitex Turquoise Blue, and Liquitex Professional Emerald Green, because I wanted it more tealy than turquoisey. And then I have this, which is a mixture of Soho Dioxazine Violet, which exploded all over my house a couple of weeks ago, and Amsterdam Expert Series Permanent Blue Violet Opaque. Um, I don't know why that's out here. And then I have this, which is the Pet PBO Studios uh, Iridescent Green Yellow. Well, what in the world am I going to do with that? We're going to find out, ain't we? So, let me get all set up here and I'll be right back. Oh, all of these colors are mixed with my um, pouring medium, which is one part, I believe it's um, golden gel gloss and three parts American flow draw. So let's just get down on the canvas and see what happens. How about it? There we go. So what do we have here? I have this great old big brush, but I think this one's a little big. I haven't used it yet. But I do have this one, which I think is just about perfect. We're gonna see what happens here. I was watching someone the other night who I will tag in the in the title to this piece and we're just gonna see what I can do with his technique I don't know could be frightening This is the turquoise, and this is the violet. This is my turquoise color. And my violet color.
red violet. And violet. And turquoise. Or teal, or whatever we want to call it. And a little green. Bigger paintbrush. Now we've got these little flip lines that I'm going to try to close up a little without screwing up anything too bad.
Okay, so here are the wet results of my experiment, which did not go entirely well. Um, I don't know whether this is supposed to be on a wet canvas or a dry one. I tried it dry and am not very happy with my results. I am showing them because I intend to keep working on this until I get it right. And I like to have a baseline bad. Um, the colors are pretty. I'm just not sold on the whole dry canvas thing. And pretty much I'm not sold on this at all. I think my paints may be too thick. I don't know where the canvas needs to be, what or I'm just a mess. I don't know. So uh, I'll be trying this again, but I'll let you see this when it's dry so you can go, oh. <laughs> see ya. Here are the dry results of my Nicolas Skizas, I think that's how you say his name, inspired piece. It did not come out exactly as I had planned, but I think it's pretty cool. Lots of pearl colors in here and it really glows although of course the camera never really catches the glow part very well you can kind of see it um didn't come out as I said exactly as I had planned but it was my first go think my paints were a little thick but there's some pretty neat stuff happening in here I just wish I could catch the the glow for you. That white area right there is actually pearl, sort of a, a turquoisey teal color. And it just absolutely glows. I mean, you can kind of get the idea here, but it just, you know, cameras don't really catch everything like we wish they would. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I love going outside of the box. Um, the box gets a little constricting after a while. So uh, let me know what you think of this. Um, leave me a comment. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know when I'm making new content. And uh, share this if you can. You know, share outside of our own community. It's so helpful. And. Um, for those of you that already do, bless your heart. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time.